All right, here we are again, seedlings. Let's check out and see how things are. We've still got all those traits from that sandwich. Could we eat multiple sandwiches? I wonder if that would help. How long do these traits last? I wonder if they just last until they get overwritten, which seems a little, um, I don't know, seems like a little, I don't know, unrealistic. Fishing competition. All right, you've been cordially invited to participate in Quill's annual fishing competition. Please feel free to bring along your best fish to compete against the very best of the best, and possibly the worst. Gray market on the 12th day of winter. Okay, so it's just like the other competitions where we just have to fish up our best fish and turn them in. I think we'll get uh, some sort of prize no matter what. So, fishing competitions on the 12th in Gray Market in Womarsh. So, whole brand new place. So, we've got nothing else to. Well, we got to rescue a kid today. We got chicken racing, no big deal, and traveling traders. So, all right, so I think we're prepared. I think we are prepared for dealing with this rescue mission. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. That's the first thing we gotta get out of the way is the rescue mission. Intending to the shop and fishing up a mess of fish to see what we can get. Cause we don't have that many fish on us at the moment. We got a three star, we got a couple of three star fish. We got a four star pond lurker, but as we saw in the other, as we saw in the, um, competition for the flowers that um, our competition is going to be bringing almost five star stuff but the good news is that even though we didn't have the best flowers during the flower competition we still got a big mess of uh, prizes for it I remember when we came here last time this is where the trader was so and we don't need the trader today because we have all of the stuff bought tons of stuff we've still got our sandwich going i don't know how long it lasts maybe 12 hours maybe 24 hours we went to the wrong place <sighs> terrible direction so if we go over here creeks and ponds are still frozen so this is where the trader was now the trader was right below there but there is that guy today well where was i am just such an idiot right, so the trader was right here he was right below the root way. So no trader today, but we don't need him because we bought everything from him yesterday. I don't know what his time frame is. In we go once more. Hopefully we will make it this time. We didn't die last time, but we had to run away with our heads, tails between our legs. I'm going to auto equip and see what it does. All right, so we got all this stuff here ready to go. Aluminium ward, shatter with zinc sword. All right, so let's go. Remember, we're still gonna use the bow at least once every, excuse me, I say at least once every episode, which doesn't make any sense, but at least once every um, encounter so that we can get some bow skill out of it. There we go, stuns him. And try to avoid taking as many hits as possible. All right, so we just barely avoided that one. Let's check some real quick. How long does the tough skin powder last, I wonder? Does it last only one? All right, we'll use it on the next, um, well, we'll save it for one of the tougher encounters. Okay, so we got Violet Slime and some more Hobtooth. We're gonna continue, see what comes up next. All right, we forgot to use the bow. Use the bow, bonk. Got him before he could send that out. So now we can kill him or knock him out before um, anything bad happens. We got some tin ore. Good. Our sword is going up. Obviously, I think the sword skill is going to be the primary thing that's going to allow us to. So we're going to just throw in five this time because we already have a lot of stuff we need. So maybe if we just get flex your muscles with this temporary strength stat raise. All right. So good. We got a temp. So things are going. We got even more strength now. Use the bow on the guy closest to us. And look at that. If we can keep this up, it's gonna be quite an easy time. Look at that. One shot, one shot, one shot. So the wishing well is obviously a very good thing. I wish we could get a loot boost, but that would be nice. What's next? 
Alright, use the bow on the primary guy. Take out his minions. Up here. Take out that minion. Come down here, we don't have any stamina. We have to wait for our stamina to come back up. Look at that, 26. I wonder how long the, um... Does this mean the tough skin powder would last a long time too? I'm gonna save it until we get at least to where we have the, the witching guy, because these guys aren't too bad. So we'll knock him down. Okay, and then we'll go up there and take a swing at him and just kill him instantly. This guy's getting ready to do that. It only goes to this one above it and below it. So the one, so it goes to this square he throws it at and the one below it. So we're getting close. The strength is helping a lot. I wonder if it helps with the bow. All right, so this is where we messed up last time. All right, that's one. And to be honest, I almost messed up again. I'm gonna always gonna be honest with you people. All right, so now we just have to wait for this dude. There we go. Destroyed the statues too, pretty easily. We got another sword. Looks like a pen or a zinc sword. Yeah, it's just a one-star zinc sword. It'll go good in the shop, so that'll save us some time in the shop if somebody buys it. All right, so we didn't have to use our bow in that one, so we'll need our bow. All right, this is a campfire. We're just going to continue. We're halfway there. We still got all of our healing creams. I'm going to go ahead and stun him. And we might... Oops. Might have to use our... Might have to use our bow more than once. There we go. I'm going to use our bow more than once to make it easier to fight him. Okay, so here he comes. That goes there. He's going to move here. The doggy's going to go pay a visit. Got a nice crit on him. Got to wait till our stamina comes back up. He does that, which is no big deal. That shoots a rock at me and I get hit. I'm going to go ahead and use one of our healing creams because they don't really heal that much. Go down here and finish him off. So we're okay now. For the moment, we're still okay. We got healing creams. And I think the next battle, we'll go ahead and use that toughness potion and see how it does. So continue. We're almost ready to level up our... All right, so this is this. I'm going to use our tough skin powder. Go ahead and do that. Use our bow on him. Barely got out of the way of that. Go carry him real quick. Do we want to use the same sword? Seems like the sword doesn't really matter that much. Go ahead and kabonk him. All right, so we're getting through this one pretty easily. Did we use the bow twice last time? I think we did. So we're short one arrow. And now we're gonna get that arrow back and we got another nymph wing and we need these nymph wings for one of the quest. Maybe we can get all of them so we can have it ready to up our combat skills because I know you're getting sick of watching me do simple wood level one all right so I don't know how, I wish we could view our stats from here but I don't think we can nope nothing we can do here but keep going oh no I hit go deeper uh oh hopefully it's not gonna be too much of a disadvantage for us we're gonna throw some stuff I'm gonna hit him with that just to keep him out of the fight for a little bit I think we'll be okay as long as we don't do too much nonsense all right so we just weren't there when he came for us we still got some pretty good strength at the moment so he's gonna throw a bomb he's gonna use all of his skill to move I mean not his skill he's just gonna use his stamina to move Go up here. He's going to try to attack us and we're not there. Go down here. So if anything else, we'll get a little bit letter, letter boot. We'll get a little bit letter boot out of that. I think we need to switch back to our other sword though. Another nymph wing, another knob eye, and some more zinc. So we didn't get really much more better loot. We just got more loot. All right, so this is nice to see. Bong, 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 bong. So was that right or not? I don't know. How about another big step boost? Looks like we got another hag's hair thing. Right, I really need to concentrate now, so I might not be talking too much on this next battle. Go down. 
Switch back to the good sword, arrow this guy, come down here, kabong him, see what they're gonna do. I'll kabong him one more time. Go ahead and hit him, that's a one shot. He's gonna try and attack us, he's just, I don't know if that roar he does buffs. The other enemies or not, it seems to do something to him. I think we can get two shots in on him. Alright, so that wasn't bad at all. So I think we've got two more... I think we've got one more normal level, and then we have the boss. And we should have a ton of healing creams left, as long as we can get to them before we die. So we've got a lot of good two-star stuff this time. Continue. Alright, so this is another level nine one. Alright, so we're gonna use, use an arrow. Bonk him, one-shot him. That worked out really well. Oop, oh, he moved. This won't be home when you get there. Alright, so I think we got this one in the bag now, friends. Because he was halfway dead already. So we'll see what this guy's gonna do. He's just gonna buff himself. Fatal mistake. You dare waste time buffing yourself against me, Master of Simple Wood, level 1. Alright, so our apprentice level achieved in the sword, so our damage is going to be up. That could not have happened at a better time, could it? I mean, that's a silly question. It could have happened a long time ago. That would have been a better time. It would have saved us a lot of deaths, wouldn't it? Alright, so continue. Alright, this is it. Girls and boys, which I'm saying because we mostly have girls watching. Sally Bloodnail fell into my trap, human worm. Give, come give old Sally Bloodnail a hug. Ha ha ha. Alright, so... I'm gonna take out Sally Erastus. We should be able to... We should be able to avoid everything else, as long as we can keep our... Alright, so there's that. You may have defeated me this time, worm, but it is aware of you, and it will eat your soul slowly. That does not sound good. Ha ha! Alright, so now I guess we just gotta finish off these guys. If we die finishing off these guys, then I don't deserve to play this game anymore. Alright, so we did take care of the boss. So I guess there was no missing child whatsoever. It was just a trap. A well-devised trap. They knew my love for rescuing people, especially children. Alright, so we got a hobtooth. A hob eye. That's all we got for that. Adventure complete. Alright, so... Killed all those things. We did pretty good. We actually didn't even need all those extra healing things we got. But of course, we did get lucky with the strength. So close. We got 92 rep for that. And it barely moves the thing, but we got 92 rep, we got a bunch of loot. Alright, is the kid napping? Clear the story, task a missing child, rescue the missing child. We got 92 plus another 30. So, I don't know, so that was worth it as far as adventuresomeness goes. Alright, let's see if our, um, how the loot panned out for us. Wrong thing, let's go to here. Skills. And combat is what we were going to have to do. So we, how many nymph wings do we need? We have enough nymph wings if he only needs five stars. So let's go see him. Which, which is really sad because we don't even really use the combo. The combo goes into effect once you... Um, we can't do any of these things because we definitely don't have enough of that. Let's do this. Gift items to master. He only needs one star. And our nymph wings, we've got exactly enough of those. All right, so that gives us third combo strike. We've got a lot in common, you and me. Grew up on a farm too, though I don't much like to talk about it. I mean, the great Yogan, picking apples, feeding pigs, downright embarrassing. Not that there's anything wrong with farming, mind you. More power to you. Still, it never sat well with me, but there's more to my dark past, so you might as well know. My uncle, he played the loot. Ugh. And my very own mother, I could barely break myself to say it. She was a poet. The shame of it. Well, we know how this guy feels about the arts, don't we? That's a pretty good run. We got our skill up and we got our sword skill up. So how much do we got? Oh, we got to get a lot of sticky tongues. I think we gave a sticky tongue away. So we 
Do we have enough of these? No, we still got a lot of... Alright, so we're going to have to do a lot more dungeoneering. But we're not going to do a lot more dungeoneering today. We're going to go check on the shop. Drop off these supplies that we got. We did get a little bit of ore. Check on the orders. Now, that was supposed to be a 500... Uh, no wonder it was a trap. So there was no really no 500 reward. How dare they? Let's go we'll double check and make sure that there wasn't. I can't believe they fooled me. They fooled me. They fooled me, Jerry. Nobody's going to get that reference. Nobody's going to get that reference. If you get that reference, they fooled me. They fooled me, Jerry. If you get that reference, then definitely drop a like or a comment. All right, so let's go down here. Go into the root way, go back to Candle Witch. Now, surely that would have been a very impressive thing for our girlfriend and future wife. Surely she would have been happy about that. About our rescue attempt. What is today? All right, so ninth. I guess it's already... I don't understand the clock. The clock is all bunkers unless it's still early morning the clock is all jacked up iron shovels ready to go zinc bucket we just now got the ability to make these buckets so now move a stack by pressing X all right so that's that all right so we'll go ahead and work on some orders so we need to make a zinc bucket and an iron decorative a zinc bucket and an iron decorative so there's the bucket mode. We've never made a bucket before. Let's see how this goes. Or since it's just for an order, we're just going to use our one star. But I wonder if, if a zinc bucket can hold more or what? What is so special about a zinc bucket? And nothing's going to be special about this zinc bucket. I'll tell you that right now. All right, let's go. That new sword helped out quite a bit in the dungeon and so did the stat boost. Goodness gracious. The sandwich and the stat boost really helped out. That's the thing to remember, friends. If you ever want to go into a dungeon, pick a good sandwich. That goes to orders. And we didn't automatically get immediately paid for that. I don't understand. Some, one day we automatically got paid. The next day we didn't. We need an iron, two iron decoratives. Decoratives. Decorative. We have two iron. We have just enough iron. So let's do that. Puff, puff, puff. We're going to have to go visit uh, Sally Arrows at home to give her, her her daily strawberry. And we're almost done with winter. Ooh, that was terrible. Which means we'll be able to gather more strawberries for her. What if we can plant a strawberry? Why is it? Is it just because it's a decorative or what? Why do we have to hit? We're hitting a lot more than before. Maybe decoratives are just a higher skill. I don't know. Max. Did we have to make two iron decoratives? I really need to learn how to keep a to-do list in the game. So we got a zinc bucket, an iron shovel. Doing all this work for our love. So she has to, they're speaking of our love. Go catch her and see what she wants. She better not have just came from John Bo's house. I'll tell you that right now. A gift for me, of course, my love. A two star strawberry. 22 friendship points, which were already maxed out. This will do nicely. There's a rumor within a rumor within a rumor that someone in Quill discovered the existence of a legendary sword. A sword so covered in myth and mystery that steps were taken to erase it from the memory of man and fae alike. Hmm. We've already had that rumor. My dear, what's happening? What are you buying? What are you selling? I'm buying an ancient cloth if you're selling. Alright, we do have an ancient cloth. How much is she going to give us for the ancient cloth, though? I'm only going to give her the one star one because we might need it for you are a star. Cheers. All right. So since we gave her her. Um, we didn't get any rep for that. We did not get any rep for that. So iron shovel. 
we need to order some more supplies order materials we can order can we order iron no we can only order tin and zinc which we have enough of so we need to get our stats up to do so iron shovel right iron shovel iron decorative iron shovel iron decorative iron shovel iron shovel we definitely need to go buy some more iron iron shovel does it tell us how much we're gonna make for them because i think iron was kind of expensive one of them was expensive it might have been copper one of them was like nine just for one of them but why do we have to hit ten times Maybe our strength gives us more hits. Maybe that's what it is, because we're still... All right, so that was terrible. So maybe we still have that extra strength. Maybe that's what it is. Let's check our stats when we get done here. If we still got the sandwich strength, it goes to four. Let's check our stats. Yeah, we still got that. So the stamina and the strength are probably the amount of blacksmith anvil hits. All right, so we have to hit in, so I guess there's might not be any penalty for missing it. Iron shovel, iron decorative. Iron shovel, iron decorative. Now we already have some of the other stuff. There's that. So do we, if we miss, does it do any penalty? That's the question. Let's try it out here real quick. Okay, so we got that. So plus 15 so let's go ahead and get some and right, so that helped all right so that did make it so we get more chances but if we completely miss i guess it gives us a greater chance of getting all the way up there because even with the miss we were able to get so we got a max on that one which i'm guessing is something that we don't do very often all right so this goes to orders that goes to orders. I think our orders are taken care of for the moment. We need a tin bucket and a tin decorative. Let's check our, our orders. Materials. We have enough materials to do that. So tin bucket and a tin decorative. Is that all it was? Tin bucket and a tin decorative. Let's get those knocked out. Wish we could get our own level leveling up in these skills. I mean, we do good at them, so we should get some our own benefits instead of having to pay for upgrading our skills. We just get upgrades in general for being good people. I mean, we rescued that monster that tried to trap us. It makes it easier to get to higher levels. If you get perfects, then. As long as you don't get a miss, it doesn't go down. So we're getting a lot more maxes. So maybe it's time for us to reforge some of our lower level swords, maybe? While we have this strength. Definitely something we need to remember. We haven't been using a... Let's go ahead and reforge our aluminum sword. We only have one star aluminum, though. Let's see if we can make a better aluminum sword. Probably not, since we just have the... Alright, so this is moving. Not too good there, but we're just doing durability. Well, these are going to move too, but we get plenty of shots at them. Perfect. 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 But they don't move too fast. Good. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so the durability was maxed. And so now we just got to get the sharpening. Well, we got to cool it off. All right, so we didn't lose anything. Durability is already at max. That's probably what the max means. All right, so now we just got to get it as sharp as possible. Not doing too bad so far. I wonder if our stats have anything to do with how much we have to do this. Or if our stats mean we have to do it less. So how good is this sword going to be? It's going to be a three-star sword. I'm going to stick it in our inventory and compare it to our existing sword. So go to tools, swords, aluminium. All right, so it's just another two-star aluminum sword. So I'll just go ahead and stick one of them on the shelf. For orders, I'll just stick it on the shelf. Where's it at? Zinc, aluminum, 
There we go, we have one on there. I don't know what this shelf is good for. It is getting late. So one tin bucket and then it'll be time to go to bed. Anything fun going on tomorrow, he wonders. So ten ore. Go ahead and make it a one star, craft it. Craft it! Craft that bucket! Churn that butter. All right, here we go. Oh, dear. But we should get plenty from here. Oops, just got an okay. Good, good, perfect, perfect. Good. Okay, we still got five hits. So it gives us pretty much guarantees we're gonna get durability max. So as long as we don't land in the red, I think we're good here. Durability, we can't go any higher in durability. All right, so that goes to the shelf. I mean, it goes to orders. All right, so now let's get out of here. Tomorrow we might have to do some mining or at least some buying of ore. It's time to head on home. We gave her her daily strawberry because we are nice people. Well, we're nice to her anyway. So tomorrow, I guess we got to get ready for the fishing competition. I wonder how good it's going to be to catch fish in the winter. If there's any way, we need to look and look at our stats and see if anything helps with fishing. We can look at that over here real quick. See if we have any letters or any poop waiting for us. No letters, no poop. All right, no poop from the cow. Got to leave something for these dudes. We'll leave them another tomato. Don't want to make the brownies mad, as far as I know. So let's look at our. That's real quick. This here, accuracy, blacksmith, bartering, combat resistance, apothecary, sandbox experience gain, weapon. I don't know what sandbox means. I guess that just means anything. Speed, combat, stamina, strength, combat damage modifier. So it doesn't look like there's anything that helps us with fishing. Okay. Unless we have, unless we're ready to skill up in fishing in general. We've already got that. So what do we need for a big hook? We need a pike. We need seven pikes, seven silver scale, and seven river trouts. Okay, so we got a long way to go to get leveled up on that. All right, so now it is time to sleep once more. Tomorrow, I guess it's today actually. Let's go to sleep and see what happens. Yeah, so it's 3 a.m. So if we get up at 6 a.m. I don't think there's a whole lot we can do to... Well, we can look at the... We can look at our... Um, so we have... Okay, let's look at our Proverbs real quick. I'm going to use this because it's just faster using the mouse to do this. Proverbs are here. Barbel, this tells us how to get better ones. A blue fish, we get blue fish in the winter and we get a bonus star if we catch them in the winter. Nothing else, we don't have any extra. If we have an adept level tool, we'll get better flicker fin. Can't catch Lorient. Then we can catch them, but it's there's nothing. We don't have any. Look at all, we've got so many more proverbs to collect. Anyway, that's it for this episode, an exciting episode. We actually did good in combat for once, and we didn't get our 500 gold for the rescue mission, but we also didn't lose a bunch of gold either, did we? We have to remember to pick these plants. So thank you for being here, and I will see you again tomorrow.